No words needed, is it? Many thanks, Mrs. H. Midweek shave. <laughs> Happy start to Wednesday. And I hope the week's going well for you. Uh, so far, halfway through another one. Whew. Be retired before long. No, not too early. <laughs> well, more shaves. Right, gonna go back to a few old products. Um, and one of my favourite vintage razors. Some new blades, which I was perusing on eBay with no intention of buying anything. Just in case someone's listening, maybe. Um, but I've seen some blades I've never heard of or used, so I bought them. And I'll show you them first. And they're called the Dollar um, Platinum. Dollar Platinum. And there's 10 blades per pack. I bought 50 for £4.99 on eBay. Free postage in the UK. Never tried them before. Now here's the blade. And it states, bear with me, on here, dis distributed by Supermax Limited Middlesex distributed so I don't know who makes them whether they make them or not but a good sign for me is it's double wrapped so it comes in that and then it comes in a wax envelope as well that's usually a good sign so we'll see um, how good they are and I'm using my as I say the f one of my favorite vintage razors if I can carefully uh, get it out it's the uh, Gillette Slim Adjustable so a twist to open, place that in nicely and close the doors. It's on setting, it's most aggressive, uh, setting 9 and I'm going to use that on the first pass, maybe drop it down to 5 or 4 second, um, 2, something on the last, whatever. Enjoy doing that. Now the soap I'm using is this, now, I have bloomed it a bit. It's uh, this stuff. The Virgil Hand. It's a Dutch. It was sent um, a few years ago by Danny. If any of you remember, Danny used to do shaving videos. He doesn't do them now. I think he's busy working and he's got a, a baby or a child by now. <laughs> um, he was a nice chap. I sent him some stuff. He sent me uh, some of this um, Dutch shaving soap from the Netherlands down in the Netherlands there. So if you watch this, I don't know if you have time now, Dan, but um, thank you so much, I still got it. Um, so there we go, that's just been blooming slightly. I'll show you now, I'm gonna drain this. I just, uh, just bear with me. There we go, so it's wet. There's a soap. Beautiful scent, uh, sort of a very fresh, clean, down the road of palm olive, that type of scent, not palm olive, but that type for me, lovely scent. Um, after doing the shave then tour, I forgot all about this. This is a satin tip brush. Um, God, my eyes are terrible, I tell you. The purest. Now this came in a box, uh, the wet shave, the shave club, sorry, the shave club. Um, it came part of a set and a shave club sent to me a few years ago now. It comes in this. Um, I'll have to check if the shave club is if it's still going. I'm not sure. I'll have a look if it is. As I say, I'll put any. Um, excuse me. I'll put any uh, handy for that. Links in the description of the video. So I'm have to try that. I'm just going to wet this. I've used the brush before. So see how this, uh, from what I remember, this was a good soap. Now someone did ask in the video, how long can you keep a soap? How long can you use a soap? Do they go off? Well, anything's possible. Um, on this, it was marked 4M, so it had a four month shelf life. It's way, it's probably four years. <laughs> um, no, seven years I've had this soap, seven years. And there's nothing wrong with it. All I did was, because it, it hadn't cracked or nothing like that, I just wet it. 
and um, sort of cleaned it a bit. Nothing wrong with it, but I do that. And then I just soaked it. And long as it's left to dry properly after rinsed and dried, it keeps okay. The hard soap seems to be okay. You've got to be careful of creams, especially if it's organic or something like that. Um, but you, use your common sense. If you're not sure, if you're not thin, don't use it. So, uh, this is lovely. And for a, a synthetic, this is one of the first synthetics, I think, or, you know, one of, at the time, when they were starting to come out. And it's got a good backbone to it. Beautiful soft brush. But as you can see, look at that. Seven years old, lathering, that as good as the day I remember using it. Really nice. Right, before we do anything, something else I forgot about, I'm going to use this Edwin Jagger Hydrating Pre-Shave Lotion. You can never have too much of a good thing. Bit of menthol in that. Really nice. So I hope you're having a good week, some good shaves. And it's been a positive week so far for you. And may that continue. That's a good start. There we go, got a nice leather, leather layer. It's nice going down memory lane. Uh, <laughs> I'm using a new aftershave today as so. well. Right, so here we go. I'm going to stick some water on this. Somebody did ask in the comments that I've managed so far to keep up to date with things relatively. They said, can you use a wetter lather? Well, we'll see how it goes. That's a nice brush. Look at that. Seven years old, that is. Within minutes. Good product. I remember it was nice, nice and creamy, beautiful scent. Right, here we go. Are we tidy? Yep. Keep the razor. Gillette Slim Adjustable. Set in nine. And uh, using a dollar platinum blade. Never used it before. Here we go. Overhang. Yeah, there is well, not as big as some. Quite slight overhang, but it's there. Here we go. Feels a nice blade. It feels um. Right, it's slightly more aggressive. Um, to be honest, I didn't think it'd be up to much. I thought it was just one of these cheap old. <laughs> but there's a good aggression to that. Not quite your feather, uh, but it's higher. I always base my limits or sort of aggression blades on Wilkinson Sword Persona Red because that's my go-to blade, so that's my standard. Um, you'll find that when you shave what your go-to blade or what you call a standard blade. But um, it's higher than a Wilkinson sword in aggression, but it's not quite a feather, somewhere in between for me on this setting. It may, obviously this is set in nine as well, so that gives it a bit more bite. There's no dissipation, I hope. Good slickness. That's 
really nice. There you go. Any of you Alice fans? <laughs> well, it's got a bit of bite there. But it feels nice, there's nothing... There's <laughs> nothing sucky. That's the first pass, very good, really nice. So we'll see how good this is. I'm just going to open it up and we're going to go to... <laughs> I'm glad she's there, she can fill in while I'm doing it. Setting four. <laughs> Funny little thing she Right. I'm sure it's because you can hear my voice, I think. Mind you, she does it when I'm in the, my room next door. Um, I can hear her. There's another. Really good slickness. Wow. That's nice. Okay, rinse that. Dry hands. Do you like beef burgers? Because I made a, I bought a good quality beef burger. I know this isn't a food channel, but I try different things. Um, let's uh, just apply this while I tell you. So it works thick and creamy. Like I like it, and it likes it works well with water. So if you like it wetter, we'll do it wet now. Um, yeah, beef burger, good quality beef burger, and uh, wetter. Mm, beautiful. Um, in a pan, get some. I use groundnut oil. Just want to use it up. Get it hot. Season the burger, salt, pepper, both sides, on the edges. In for about four minutes each side. Depends how you like it. Get a bun, good quality bun. I use the brioche, brioche, is it? Cut it in half, put it in the toaster, ready. And then, just before the burger's ready, toast the bun so that it's not toasted properly, but just to have that crispness and heat. Bring it out, on the bun, mayonnaise, ketchup and mustard, lettuce, then tomato, slice of tomato, uh, then some streaky crispy bacon, then the burger, bit more seasoning, then some fried onions, on the lid of the bun, mayonnaise, ketchup and mustard. Put it together, put a stick through it and enjoy life baby. There we go. I know America's the leaders on burgers and things like that, but um, for a homemade one, wow, nice. I tell you, the slickness on this soap, now I've dropped it, uh, how does the blade feel? It's still okay, still can... not as aggressive, obviously. That's a nice blade. Now, I'm telling you, wow, the slickness. I don't remember it being this slick. <laughs> um, I paid four ninety nine, four pounds ninety nine, free postage for 50. I'll put a link to it, um, if I can find it again, I should be able to. You can have a look. I'm not associated with them or nothing like that. I've just seen them, bought them, trying them. Uh, oh, here we go. Sod's law. I'll go back to it. I've said it before. <laughs> you know, I'm not a light. I paid four ninety nine. So when you go and look at it, it should be the same price. But sometimes I've noticed they do go up. Uh, or they're not there. Damn things have sold out. But uh, that's why I got 50, really. Um, 
you might think getting a new blade, buying 50 blades, why, you know, if you don't like them. I'd probably give them away or give them to people that would try them. But uh, I think I'll happily use these. Excellent slick as well. Listen to that, it's beautiful. Okay, let's pass number two. Be interesting to know, can you still get this soap? Maybe a different package, you know? I, I should think so. This is like your, I think this is like the Dutch version of, like palm olive is here, easy to get, good soap. But this is nice. Um, I think this is a bit more creamy than our palm olive. Uh, very good slickness and a lovely scent. Fresh clean scent. Right, here we go. Let's just... <laughs> this little brush, synthetic, but it holds good lather. Like I've said again before, anybody new to this way, if you're not sure about a soap, if you've got sensitive skin, very sensitive skin, or you think, oh, I hope I don't get a reaction from this, lather it up, just lather a bit, and just place some here, just behind the ear, very sensitive area. If you've got a reaction, it'll happen there, it'll itch, or it'll go red, or it'll be sore. Better a spot like that than lathering your face, finding out, not nice and I'm only saying that because I've done that a couple of times years ago right third pass we're gonna go down to uh, let's go to three that's the lowest I'll go for this because it's good slick so against the growth There's going to be a, another video between now and Sunday and that video is going to be the giveaway and I'll explain in that what I'm giving, they're going to give three prizes and I'll show you what I'm giving away um, and what I want you to do to, you know, to win them, there's no, nothing major. Yes, it's a thank you for 12,000 subscribers. Really appreciating, very lucky. Can't believe it sometimes, actually, to be honest. But uh, it's not only just for that, it's just for, just for being there, for watching these videos. Um, for all you do, you know, commenting. Uh, even if I don't reply, the comments are still coming in every, and I love reading them. And you're just a nice bunch of people, so thank you. You make um, me doing these videos, want to make them all the time, and really enjoy making them. And big thank you as well to people that have sent me things um, over the years, lately. It's really much appreciated. Um, I was asked, actually, a good time to answer this. I had one or two comments, not recently, a while ago. You get a lot of products, why don't you give them away? Well, not so bad from a business, maybe. But when a, a person, a viewer, a, another shaver sends me something, it's a gift, I see it as a gift. Um, and I'm not too keen or it wouldn't look very nice if I give their gift away, you know, it might come across a, I don't like it or whatever, but um, if I was to ever 
give something away from a some, that somebody sent me, I would contact the sender if you like first. Out of manners, you know. Yeah, likes a likes a drink as well, but not necessarily needed. On my lip, then there's a couple of dots, nothing major. God, that's slick, it's lovely. Well, Dutch, I don't know what the Dutch for three to one is, but <laughs> not gonna, not gonna chance it, baby. Three, two, one, pick up time, baby. Right, they can't stop us laughing, can they? Well, not yet. Might be the way the world's going. There might be a charge on it, or a, you go to jail for it. Did you just laugh then? Yes. Oh, sorry, that could offend someone. PC madness. Well, I don't know if it's in every country. <laughs> it is here. Um, sometimes to the st stage of cringeworthy. If, some of the things these uh, love to know who these people are. They make these rules uh, silly. Right, keeping on setting three. Gillette Slim Adjustable uh, pickup time using the Dollar Platinum Blade. And so far, it's been a very comfortable, well, good performing blade. as is the soap amazing so you know I don't recommend you use out-of-date soaps or anything like that it's you're not supposed to do it um, but you're not supposed to walk across a busy road either because you'll get run over so you know what I mean common sense And there's no issues with the blade. Actually, it's so slick, I'm putting this up to four. Oh, that's the sound I want. Hang on. That's the sound I want. Beautiful. Right. Rinse. Cold water again. Beautiful. Cold Welsh water. Oh. oh, that feels good. That feels good. Oh, that's beautiful. Right. <laughs> Lovely colours. Can't beat a bit of colour. Okie dokie. I'm going to use my own witch hazel mixture. This is a uh, standard witch hazel with tea trail. There we go.
That's lovely. So that's what it looks like. And then this aftershave is uh, Bohemia Cosmetics Aftershave Moon and Man. There you go, Moon and Man. You would have seen probably that in the uh, shave den tour. See what it's made, if I can see. There's so much on the, in small writing I can't see it. In, what does it say in the front? Paul Hellini. Oh, is that um? Oh, is it Czech? I'm not sure. This was sent to me. Gift. Beautiful. It smells nice. Let's see what it feels like. Oh, that's nice. That's got a kick to it. Bit of a sting then. Don't normally get that. Smell that. Beautiful. Now that to me, going down the 80s scent, down the 80s route, that uh, I don't know what it is about in the 80s when you had aftershaves, late 70s as well, like a nice, like a fresh scent, just a clean and fresh, yeah, goes well with the old soap, that, wow, that's nice, you'd like this, and then, boots, Essentials Moisturising Cream Fragrance Free uh, for all skin types, is it? All skin types. So it smells um, very Nivea ish. And uh, you want a good bit on the neck. There we go. Won't rub it in, I'll just go out like this. <laughs> She'd kill me. Well, no, she wouldn't kill me. She just wouldn't go out with me. Well, that's nice. Wow, that's um, that is a cross for me between Arco in texture, which is quite thick, and Nivea in scent and in. It's a way that makes sense. Oh, that's lovely, yeah. Right. So, quick recap, and I'll let you go. Gillette Slim Adjustable. On its first pass, we used on setting nine, the most aggressive. Second went down to four, I think it was. I can't remember now, yeah. And then we went down to three for the last pass on the pickups, and went back up to four again. Um, used the dollar platinum blade didn't expect too much from this but in aggression for me and especially on that setting um, it felt between persona red and feather somewhere in between um, so a good bite to it uh, no tugginess it didn't f fade on the second or third pass it did a good job um, so really pleased with that use them use them again and this stuff seven years old so it's a probably six and a half just over six and a half years out of date as I say I don't re recommend anybody do it but I've got old spice soap there's 40 odd years old and it works well so common sense um, very good easy to lather beautiful thick and creamy if you want it you can add water to it doesn't affect its performance and it's a gorgeous scent um, lovely, nice Dutch soap. Um, what else we used? Oh, we used the pre-shave first, didn't we? Edwin Jagger Hydrating Sensitive Balm. You can see that. There's a bit of menthol in that's nice. Um, brush was this uh, satin tip, the purest. As I say, came with a wet the shave club um, a few years ago now, and then uh, one of the first uh, synthetics I had, I think. Lovely soft brush, works well, holds lather well. Um, sh small, lightweight brush. Then we rinsed off with water, cold water, Welsh water, Dour Cymru, and then we used some <laughs> witch hazel and tea tree oil, which I made myself. 
and then we use this um, Moon and Man aftershave, that's lovely, down the 80s road for me, that, the scent, um, nice clean and fresh scent, quite strong, good kick to it in alcohol, and then Boots, oh, what's it called again, Moisturising Essentials Moisturising Cream, good stuff. So um, many thanks again for watching, I hope you have some great shaves and uh, a good rest of the week, very important isn't it, stay happy if you can. Um, so yeah, as a thank you, uh, between now and uh, Sunday, you'll see a video come up, uh, I'll call it the 12,000 uh, giveaway, sub -sub subscriber giveaway, um, anybody can enter it, um, and, but I'll explain in the next video. So, thanks for watching. Thank you to Mrs. H and, and to Alice for her bit as well. And have a great week. Have some good shaves. Take care of yourselves. And I'll see you in the giveaway video, which will be next. Take care.